Mike Gillette, because it's Mike Gillette's job, reads things constantly, news accounts of ordinary people with no special training that save themselves from horrible situations all the time. What do they have? Something here and something here that allowed them to do what they needed to do. And what did they need to do? Well, it was kind of situationally dependent. We can't come up with a plan that's super specific for every super specific thing that may happen. But we can come up with some guidelines. Hey, that's how it works in law enforcement. That's how it works in the military. That's how it works in the things that, that I do. We have some ideas. If X happens, we're going to do Y. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to do something else. And if that doesn't work, we're going to do something else. We're just going to we're just going to keep exploring options. And it's all about that. Does that make sense? Awesome. You're very polite. Next slide. Now, don't someone raise your hand and say, um, the gym? <laughs> what is it that we want to accomplish if something bad happens? Well, we want to have things go the way we would like them to go. Here's where we get messed up. People in bad situations sometimes get so wrapped up about the fact that they're suddenly in a bad situation that they can't stop the inner dialogue. Why is this person approaching me? I'm a good person. I go to church. I pay my bills. I'm a good parent. This isn't fair. This isn't this. This isn't that. And they're, they're so busy with all of those conversations, the bad stuff's happening. And they're not engaging the part of the problem that's making the bad stuff happen. They're all wrapped up in this inner dialogue. And it's not just untrained people that do that. Trained people get stuck in that sort of uh, mind loop as well. So where do we start? We have to think about if something happens, what will I do? What do I want to do? And what will I do to make that happen? Now, the first thing we need to do is sort of quantify, well, what are we even talking about? Are we talking about home invasion? Are we talking about standing at the ATM and, and somebody hits you over the head? Are we talking about a sexual assault? Are we talking about a scenario that is some kind of combination of several of those things? So we need to think about, if I'm in this situation, I'm going to do that. Now, I don't know where you're at inside with all of this. Some of you may think, you know, I get what you're saying, Mike. But I'm not that person. I don't think I could ever bring myself to do some of the things that you're going to be talking about later to another person. And if that's you, okay. If, and it, doesn't, it doesn't make you wrong. It doesn't make you dumb. It doesn't make you anything other than that's where some people are. I will give you all the space you need to be that person. But if you don't want to be that person, I'll try to help you get over the psychological hurdle of becoming someone that can do what they need to do at an appropriate time. 